You had a really strong uh, result for the second quarter. What's the key to this strong report? Yeah, I think what we have seen is that all our products, which we have invested in over time now, did actually perform very well. So we managed to grow the broadcasting business by 4% sales and 4% uh, profit as well. And that is despite the fact that we have fairly strong currency headwinds against us, more than 70 million, which impact the result, of course. So without these 70 million, the, the profit would have been, uh, the, crump, the, the uh, result would have been even stronger. We would have grown by 15%. Uh, but we are happy, of course, because obviously it looks like the products that we are producing have very strong consumer traction. So that is very important for us. You continued your investments in digital products during this quarter. Just this week, you bought more than half of the shares in Zoom in TV, which is the fifth largest multi-channel network on YouTube. What do you expect from this investment? Yeah, but if you take a step back, then you will see that we see a lot of consumer changes. Consumer behavior is changing the way you consume video. So you see some markets, you see that television, for instance, the particularly in the younger target groups, where we see the viewing is declining. And obviously these customers go somewhere and it looks like that they're going to the online video environment. So of course the idea is to make sure that we have products as well which cater for that decline in the linear world and also to make sure that we are relevant with the storytelling global, which we are doing right now with the acquisition of Zoom In. So for us it is very important that we capture and we capitalize on these consumer trends we're seeing in our industry right now. In the report for the second quarter, you had a record high level of uh, acquisitions within the digital market. But except from digital uh, products, do you see other interesting investments in the future? Yeah, we do. We have invested a lot in content as well, and we also invest a lot in our own businesses. It is not just to go out and buy a lot of businesses, it is to make sure that your businesses yourself or your products, that they stay competitive. So we are investing in our own products. At the same time, we make sure that we are relevant online as well, uh, with the investments that we've made now uh, with, with Splay and, and Zoom In, as you say, but also Turtle, the eSports company. Well, the number of TV viewers are de declining, the prices of TV commercials are rising, even though the commercials ought to have a smaller target range. Uh, how does this add up, according to you? Now, you could argue that TV commercials have been too cheap <laughs> over time, but basically TV is a very strong advertising media. Denmark has their best quarter since 1992, uh, 1999, um, so we are getting more and more customers in as well at the same time, uh, relevant customers for TV advertisers. You recently reclassified your ownership in the Russian media corporation CTC Media. Why is that? It's very simple because we, we understood from the CTC board that there's an offer uh, for the company and, and we have said now the CTC, our shares are for sale and that is why it's been reclassified. You recently communicated that you're going to make the operation more efficient. Uh, how are you going to do that? Yeah, right now what we are seeing is that we are moving away from a so-called product organization to a country organization. And the whole idea is, of course, to get closer to the customers, to make sure that each of the countries, and they are spaced different in Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, uh, and Finland, to make sure that they are set for, for the, the, the right way for the competition in each of the individual countries. And that can be, you know, content, how, did you, how do you distribute content? You know, the way we buy content, we can show it on free TV, on pay TV, on wire play, whatever. And that may be different in different countries. So the idea is that we optimize the organization, we get strong management in the local territories to make sure that we continue to be a very strong player and relevant player in each of the countries we're in. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you.